Hi, I'm Maria Granger. I'm a lecturer at Worcester College of Technology. This is my model Gail and for today we're going to do scrunch drying. Um, Gail has got a nice soft perm on her hair at the moment and um, she just likes to have her hair so she can just wash and leave it. Um, the style that she likes is slightly taken over to the side with a little bit of fringe coming down. It is better to use products on the hair um, when you're scrunch drying to hold the curl in place and um, because Gail has got some colour on her hair on the ends you might find that these sections of the hair may look a little bit fluffy so by just using um, products that are designed for curly hair will help with that. So I'm going to use a curl defying cream and work that through the hair and scrunch it in the hair, making sure that we get down to the roots so it's covering the whole of the hair. It's better to use a little amount of product as most style on products are quite concentrated. You can always reapply a little bit more if you feel that it hasn't completely gone through the hair. So before you start drying, if you just place the hair into the position that you're going to dry. When drying the hair, it's always better to use a diffuser with your hair dryer. This will actually hold the hair in position while you're drying it and it will help you avoid any frizziness that can happen. So when you begin to dry the hair, make sure you have the right temperature and place the hair into the diffuser and with your hands actually scrunch the hair dry. Be careful of the client's ears actually on the diffuser because this can get quite hot. What we're looking at is actually scrunching the hair to obtain root lift and curl. Because Gail's hair has been permed, we don't need to work the hair so much. section as Gail's got a graduated bob she likes a lot of height on this crown section so I'm going to work the hair and lift at the roots to try and get maximum root lift into the diffuser and working at the roots, scrunching the hair up. Make sure that you have the client sat in the right position so this avoids any strain on your back and you can position yourself to get in towards the roots and get maximum root lift with your hands. When I come through to do the top section, I'm going to position myself so that I can still reach in and scrunch in at the roots. Again, I'm going to try not to work the hair too much because Gail has got a, a loose perm on her hair.
just through the back section, I'm just going to blow dry this under to help with the graduation. <laughs> Now that I've finished scrunch drying the hair, I'm just going to use a product which will just define the curls a little bit more and give the hair a bit of shine. So again, using the same technique, I'm going to scrunch through the hair, in at the roots right through to the ends, and using your mirror to help dress through the hair. Work it through by scrunching. Okay, and then again, using the mirror to make sure that you've got an even finish to the hair. There we have, scrunch dry.